Hey everyone! Alright, so it is assembly time again! Yeah! Alright, so what we're going to do is today we are going to type characters and then write them to the screen. So let's get into it. I'm going to create my input ASM file. The make file we have talked about on previous videos. If you want to know more about that, you can watch the Hello World again. That is the slightly shorter video, but it does go into more depth with some of the specifics. So there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to type something that looks kind of familiar by now. We're going to use 16-bit real mode. Our origin point is going to be 07C00. Um, we're going to do our times 510 minus. Um, we talked about this as well on the Hello World again. This explains how all the zeros are written for us. I love referencing other videos because that way I don't need to bog you down with all these details. And in the last video you saw that I'm trying to use nice descriptive little comments. So set up the screen which is going to clear the screen for us. One off by the little dashes. There we go. So move in the AX 0x3. Um, set video mode to 3. And we talked about this in the Hello World again video also. So run the graphics. Subru uh, interrupt. It's a subroutine, but basically it's a subroutine. So let's make this, make run it. Something didn't work. Hmm. No bootable device. Well, that's new. Five hundred and twelve magic bytes there. Seven C zero zero. Maybe I ran it too fast. I did. I was faster than the computer. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, well, that was exciting and unexpected. Let's carry on. <laughs> So what we need to do is we're going to get values from the computer. Let's do that first. So let's create a new little subroutine down here. We'll call this get character from keyboard. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to look at interrupts. So we've looked a fair amount at um, interrupt 10s before. This one's going to be interrupt 16. So we're actually going to read a character from the keyboard. And that read is 0 at AH. So Let's move into AH0. Get key. I'll fill in the little box later on. And we'll call interrupt 16H. And after that, we'll clear interrupts and we'll halt the processor. So our comments don't look pretty, but let's see what happens. Oops, make first, then make run. All right, so if I hit a character, well, well, nothing happened. Actually, it did. So when it ran, it stored whatever key I pressed into AL. And we can find a little bit of detail about that if we go on this Wikipedia page. It says, if you do a read key press, it will load the scan code into AH. So AH is no longer zero. It changed that on us. 
Um, we don't really care about the scan code, but we do care about the character code. That's the actual ASCII character, and that's an AL now. Well, you'll remember from the last video that E is the display character for the zero, um, or sorry, the E, the hexadecimal E, it's actually a number, it's not a letter, but um, if you look at that, that's write a character in TTY mode for our video services. That's interrupt 10H. So AL is already set by whatever AH had. So let's call interrupt 10H and see what happens. Now, if I hit the letter A, there is an A on our screen. So we are making progress. All we have to do now is make a loop so that we can do more than one character. Type and write. Well, we are flying through this one. This is great. So to make a loop, what we are going to do is things we have seen before. We're going to say character loop. That's a nice name. I like it. And we are going to say jump to character loop. Now you'll notice these will never ever get hit. We have an infinite while loop here basically. Run, jump, run, jump, run, jump. Um, however, we're going to keep them in because this is going to be a multi-part series. We're going to, um, in the next video, we're going to actually save what the user types in into a variable. And we are going to use detect the enter key. And when they hit enter, we are going to display what they just typed in. So that'll be pretty exciting. After that, we have a video planned where um, if they type in, let's say, like the word exit, it will actually end the program. So we're going to keep in the CLI and this halt command because eventually we will want to jump there and actually end the program properly. It'd be kind of like if you want to close a terminal, you type in exit and it exits. But this is a really short video, um, under 10 minutes, unless I keep babbling on and on. And what we have accomplished here is we are able to scan in a key from the keyboard. After we scan it in, keyboard interrupt, we are setting that we want to display a character and we call the interrupt for the video driver or the video interrupt. I'll just say it that way. And then after that, we're going to jump uh, loop again, I'll just say. And that is it. Congratulations, you have gotten input from the keyboard. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. In the next video, like I said, we will do a little bit more. We will handle dealing with enter and we will display what they typed on the screen on a new line. So we're going to be moving some stuff around. We're going to be handling key presses uh, and actually doing things, branching. It's kind of like if statements and things like that. So I look forward to seeing you in that one. And that's all I have for you today. So we will see you then.